Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete storage accounts, containers and blob in Azure using Terraform. I have logged into my Azure account. Now let us go and see whether do we have any storage account. So there is no storage account currently exist in my account. So we are going to create the storage account containers and blob using Terraform. For that first let's review the Terraform documentation. Since we are going to create a storage account and then the container and the blob. So I am seeing an example usage which comprises of the creation of the resource group, storage account, storage container and the storage blob. So if you, you can see the Azure RM storage container also that will have an information up to the storage container and then you can go and see even the storage account. So here this has the information about the creating the storage account. So let us get back to the Azure RM storage blob. So for creating the blob you need to create a resource group then create a storage account then the storage container and then upload the file as a blob. So let's get started. I'm going to use the Visual Studio editor for adding my Terraform configurations. So already I have added the necessary credentials which is needed by Terraform to authenticate to Azure in the providers.tf file. You can refer to my previous video creating a service principle for creating the necessary credentials which Terraform needs to authenticate to Azure and create the resources. Now I am going to create the main.tf file where I am going to define the resources. TF. So first we are going to add the resource group. Resource Aram Resource Group will give the name as str group the resource type and the name will be used to identify this specific resource in this configuration file so we'll give it the name of the resource group what you want that to be created and then we'll give the location i'm going to the location as east us uh, now let's create the next resource which is the storage account so we'll give it the name so the storage account name has to be unique so let's give a name as some random numbers hope it is unique and then we need to give the, the location. So the location is again East US. And then we need to give the resource group name. Dot name. So you can see here clearly, right? So this is the resource type and this is the name. And dot name, it gives the actual resource group name. So we need to give the account tire which is standard and then we need to give the account replication type which is I'm going to use LRS okay the local redundancy so now I have added the resource for the storage account now let us add the storage container Azure RM storage container and we'll give the container also name. We need to give the name for the container. So I'm going to give the name as demo container. Next is we need to give the storage account name. Storage account name. This is the storage account dot name. We need to then provide the container access type which is going to be private okay so now we have defined the Azure 
storage container now let's define the resource for the blob which is azure storage blob so we'll give it as a name blob so we need to give a name so this is going to be a file so i'll give the name as sample.txt and then we need to give the storage account name dot name then we need to give the storage container name which is going to be dot name then we need to give the type just block and then we need to give the source sources again sample dot txt file okay so we have created all the necessary resource blocks for creating a resource group storage account storage container and the upload the file to the container let's save it save the changes now let's create a new file that sample dot txt file this is a sample file save the changes now we have added all the necessary files so let's do a terraform in it it is installing the hashicorp azure rm provider version 3.51.0 terraform init is successful let's do a terraform format to format the files all the files are already formatted so now let's do a terraform validate to validate the configuration the configuration is valid now let's execute a terraform plan the terraform plan actually creates an execution plans with the information on what all the resources will be created when we execute a terraform apply so clearly we can see it is going to create a resource group going to create a storage account going to create the blob container so here you can see the plan it says four resources it's going to add and zero to change and zero to destroy now let's execute a terraform apply the terraform apply also creates execution plan and asks for your approval let's provide the approval it has created the resource group now it is creating the storage account so it has successfully created the storage account the container and uploaded the sample.txt to the container let's go and validate that go to the storage accounts let's refresh so we could see the new storage account click that so let's go to the containers so we could see the new demo container has been created so there we can see the sample.txt file as a blob click that okay get it okay so now we have successfully created resource group storage account a container and we have uploaded a sample file to the container so now let's use the terraform destroy to destroy the resources what we have created Terraform this. The Terraform actually uses the TF state file where it maintains the information about the existing environment. So, whenever a new request is made, so it compares the existing environment information with the new configuration and then creates the plan. So, in case when we execute the Terraform destroy, it checks the tf state and it identifies what are the resources exist in the current existing environment and then it compares with the resources what is there in the terraform configuration file so in our case so we have created the resource group storage account container and uploaded a file to the container so as part of the destroy so it is going to create a plan indicating that it is going to delete all these resources 
As expected, the terraform destroy command has created an execution plan where you can clearly see it is mentioning it is going to destroy, delete all those resources. You can see the minus sign which means it is going to delete the particular resource. And here again in the plan it says it's not going to add anything, it's not going to change, it is going to destroy four resources. And asking for the approval, let's provide the approval. It has successfully destroyed the blob and it has successfully destroyed the container storage account and now it is destroying the resource group. Now it has successfully completed the destruction of all the four resources. Let's go and validate. Let's go to the home, click storage accounts. You can see there is no storage account exist currently. Let us go and confirm the resource group as well. Click resource groups. So you can see the new resource group which we created using Terraform doesn't exist here. In this demo, we have seen how to create and delete storage accounts, containers and blob. Thanks for watching the demo.